welcome to our first exercise. So the first exercise is going to look a little bit um, static for a fitness exercise, but it's a really, really important one. The first thing we need to do is teach your dogs how to be aware of their bodies, how to balance um, and, and you know coordinate themselves, basically. So we want to make sure they can do a very basic stand position. So this might be something you've never done before as a general stand. It might be that you've taught your dog to stand, but not in a certain way. I've got a platform here for my god dogs to stand on. Go find it, Rips, because that's just how I teach this, but you don't need a platform. Just do this on the floor, so it helps with the, uh, the video here, because I haven't, can't get down low enough. So all we're going to be doing, if you can come on before we pop it, is you're going to lure your dog man, into a stand. You can start with a sit, so if they know how to sit, and all you're going to do is bring the treat down to your dog's chin, pull them forward with the treat, and then treat when the bum comes up. Okay, this gives us a really nice basic stand. Good boy. Make sure your treat isn't too high, otherwise you're just going to keep getting a sit like that. So track down, bring it forwards, bum comes up for a stand. Okay. Once they're happy doing that and they can do a nice stand, that's good. Then you can start manipulating a bit more how you want them to stand. And we're looking for a nice square stand. Okay, now a square stand is something that can come with time. It can take a little while for dogs to get it. And it's what basically what Ripley was doing there for a moment. There's a good girl and Merlin. So they're both doing a square stand at the moment. Okay. What I mean by square, well, she's sitting, but he was doing, she was doing a square stand. A square stand is basically this. So you can see the shape that Merlin makes. His legs go up, his body goes across, front legs go down. So it's a nice shape. He's not stretched out in either direction. He's not tucked under. He's not holding any of his legs in weird places. He's not holding the weight off of any legs. Everything is nice and equal and balanced, okay? If I was to put something on his back, it's likely to stay there because he's not standing uncomfortably. That's what we're looking for. If at this stage, when you ask your dogs to stand, if you're finding that they can't do this for any reason, they're holding a leg funny, you can see that a leg is, is twitching a little bit perhaps, they keep sitting down, don't want to stand up, unless you've done a lot of sits with them over the years. Um, or as you get them to try and stand up, you can see that the back is really arched perhaps um, and really roached then that might be an indication that your dog has a little bit of a weakness somewhere or maybe they've hurt themselves in the last couple of weeks they've injured themselves banged into something perhaps um, or they've, they've turned a bit too sharply so it's worth keeping an eye on that if you can see if you can get a photo of your dog in that stand position because as we work through a lot of these exercises and especially if you um, do actual conditioning work with your dog you're going to find that after a few repetitions that their legs and their backs get stronger and actually can, can start looking better. It's also very handy to show your vet if needed. So if you're not too sure, if you're trying to get the stand and you look and think, yeah, I'm sure my dog could do this before, or I've never done this, but actually this doesn't look quite right. For some reason, they, they just don't want to stand properly. Next time you go and see your vet, it might be worth just getting them to have a little feel over. Or if you're in our classes, you know I'll always have a quick look over your dogs for you anytime um, if you want me to check them over, okay? Don't be alarmed, if there's something really badly wrong, you're probably gonna know already, but it's just a really good indicator um, um, of seeing what is going on. So, over there, good girl. So we're gonna bring them in, and we just want this nice square stand. Doesn't matter if you're luring, like I'm doing here, or if you've got a nice show stand, either is fine. And we just want them to be able to stand there. Good boy. For a few seconds. Okay, five seconds if they can at this stage. It's a good boy. If you can, so this is our advanced dogs, then we're going to up, look up to getting 20, 30 seconds worth. Good girl. Stand. Good. So Ripley is slightly now more angled than I'd like. That's better. Good girl. Stand. Good. So before she was leaning forward, which I didn't want. Good. That's better. Good girl. There's a good girl. I don't recommend having two dogs training together, by the way. <laughs> I just make it difficult for myself. So then we're looking to get 20, 30 seconds if they're advanced. If you're new to this, up to five seconds is what we're after. Okay. So this one, you can do a couple of stands. You can break them off. You can let them have a quick sniff or a toilet or a drink. Go back to it again. So a few repetitions like that. If you then want to extend it a little bit more, 
you can make it into a form of a straddle okay so the next video i'm going to show you which will be posted in a couple of days um is going to be a straddle version and you're going to get that and another exercise for that day um but work on this flat surface to start with um inside outside doesn't really matter as long as it's not slippery again you know you need your dogs to be able to to manage to do the exercise really keep it nice and short for them um, I do treat train if you don't like using treats that's no problem but you need to still at least show your dog what you want them to do because they, they won't understand otherwise um, and you can still reward them it can still be a nice bit of fuss it could be a toy at the end of it um, that's entirely up to you if you don't want to use treats but just so that you can see what I'm doing I am using treats to lure and to reward once they're in the right position so square stands on or off a platform that is entirely up to you but from either from a sit or walking into it you know there's nothing there don't you we're looking for that nice stand position we're getting a pause up from Merlin which is not very helpful but like Ripley's doing here into a nice stand